And then, of course, <laughs> Crazy Marcy, Boogie Eater. Oh my God. She comes, I love, I love, I love when people say she, meaning me, the queen, can't take it. What can I take? I don't like vulgar comments. You can, like I said, you can say fuck you, eat shit and die. I'm, I'm cool with that. You can wish me death. You can wish me anything you want. But like I said, anything, ugh, I don't like that. It's just, I'm a proper woman in some aspects and I don't like that type of nonsense talk. So, uh, as for I can't take it, I don't understand those comments when the people say I can't take it. What exactly do you think I should be taking? Considering all I'm doing really is making videos, talking about my day, and you, Marcy, make, ooh, you, Marcy, make rant videos about me. And how many last, 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 last videos about me are there going to be? And no, I have not watched one of your videos. I'm looking right into the camera. Not one video of yours, Marcy. Before, when you were, you know, frenemies, I do kind of consider all YouTubers frenemies because we all are in this competition. This whole thing, to me, is a competition. It's a game. That's what this is. And we're all rivals. So when we were frenemies, I did watch some of your videos. You used to do unboxings, but for the love of God, you turned on me and I don't know why. Oh, oh, I forgot. You're the one who thinks we're best friends. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Yeah, that, that's right. That's right. But no, I don't watch your videos, people. Like I've said, I usually just do a search for my name. I used to do a search for Adam, but he doesn't make any videos and nobody, the only person that comes up with Adam Potter is me because I'm usually hollering at him for something. Because he annoys the shit at me. But I don't even really need to do a search on Adam anymore. Because he doesn't do many videos. You're boring, Adam. You really need to kick it up a bit here. But anyway, so no, I don't watch your videos. I do do the search for my name. Because I do like to see who's talking about me. I just want to be kept, kept abreast as to who's my enemies. And either nobody's talking about me anymore. Or they're not putting my name in the title. So I don't see it. So somebody said to me out there, all is quiet in YouTube. So good. Keep your mouth shut. Keep your fucking mouth shut. Good. I did watch Stormy's video. I did watch hers. Um, East Stormy, you really have a nice talent there. You're very creative. You, you know, you, I mean, I, I don't know how to do graphics and all that. This is all I can do. And I could put titles. That's about it. I don't, I don't know how to do any of that stuff. And I, it doesn't interest me whatsoever. I don't need things to look pretty. I'm okay with looking pretty ugly. That's my thing. I don't care. Um, you know, but she makes nice graphics. It takes time and effort to do all that. And to make videos just to tear people apart. It just really shows what a bitch you are. And you have no life, apparently. I mean, I cannot imagine sitting around hate watching people. I, the only videos I really love are travel videos. I've always said that. Japan, anything, anything travel, anything away from here is what I like to look at. I would never waste even 10 minutes of my life hate watching. I just couldn't get that. I don't understand why you do that, um, Stormy. I don't understand it. I mean, you, you can do nice things. You can do nice things. And so many, there's so many things you could do. But, um... You choose to go evil, so, and then to make hate videos and nasty comments, and it's just, you're a waste of time. You're a waste of life, in my opinion. You have talent, and you're shitting it away on hate videos about people, so, you know, that's a waste. That's an absolute waste. So, that's just, I did watch your video, because she does interest me. I like the graphic of the sunkissed soda. Certain things are cute, but then she goes... And gets really nasty. And, uh, you know, that that's when I don't... That's why I can't like you. I have to hate your guts. I have to hate your guts. You will always be an enemy of mine. Because I don't... If... Well, I mean, I made up with MT. But at least he took his videos down and stuff like that. But, um... Once you go against me and make hate videos, I just can't... For it's really nasty. That's when I don't... That's why I can't like you. I have to hate your guts. I have to hate your guts. You will always be an enemy of mine. Because I don't... If, well, I mean, I made up with MT, but at least he took his videos down and stuff like that. But, um, once you go against me and make hate videos, I just can't forgive you because it's, the channel's all I have and the channel's what I love. The channel is me and I take it an absolutely serious. It's so serious to me if you make, 
dedicated hate videos about me. I, I don't understand why people would do that. I mean, I haven't watched any of your videos other than the ones that had my name in it or Adam's, but I think you always had our names together, so I've watched them anyways. But, I mean, it looks like you have MS, and granted, I don't know what MS is, but if it's a condition, you know, I'm sorry you're suffering, but you should do positive things in life if you're ill. I don't know what MS does. I don't know if you're dying from it. I'm sorry if you are. I really am. I don't know anything about the disease. I saw you had a video about it, but I'm not going to watch it because I can't support people that hate me and that, you know... All these hate videos, all they do is create more hate for me. They put a bigger target on my back and it, they always are upping each other what they can do and what they can say against me. And it affects my real fucking life. It affects my life in real life right here. So you, you just don't understand the, the ripple effect of all these little videos that people make and how it pushes people to the brink, to honestly want to do harm to me in real life. You just don't understand the damage you have done to me. You just really have no idea what you've done. And uh, I can't forgive people for doing shit like that. Especially quite recently what happened. It's just really bad. So. Anyways, another word I spelt wrong. <laughs> of course, nobody points it out. What else is new? Huh. <laughs> How many versions of the word throne are there? Throne. I was referring to the throne I sit on. I don't know which throne I spelt, but of course some asswipe has to point it out that I spelt it wrong. And damn it, it had spell check, damn it. But... I don't know how to get spell check to work right half the time, so usually it doesn't even know what I'm talking about. Which is really bad when you're trying to do dictatorship. <laughs> that does, that's the wrong word too, ain't it? Motherfucker. Because I'm too lazy to type. Well, then you got the big ass chunky fingers, and then I don't type, so then I do the dictatorship. And then sometimes I talk too fast. It can't keep up with me. It's like, oh, fuck. But anyways, and I can't, I don't have the dictatorship. Wrong word. Which word do I mean? Maybe I shouldn't have thrown out the book for dummies, huh? <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. Fuck you. You know it's thrown. I meant ass wipe. And if you have to sit there and correct me, it's so stupid. It's so stupid. Um, what else? Oh, Christina. Um, she's having surgery. on so hard to say the right things, and it's just it's like one dollar. I don't know. Why bother? Oh my God, I'm getting, oh my God. You know, I really don't read past one line. I don't give a fuck. So this person, I don't know, you know, so it's like click for more. So I'm like, well, I'll click to see what it, how long. Holy fucking shit. Paragraph. Oh my like, fuck you. I just deleted that thing. I deleted everything you said. I don't give a shit. I didn't block you because I forgot because I was so mad because all I saw was basically you Catholic shaming me. Oh, Catholic shaming me. Oh my God. I, I, I just don't get this shit. You know, I, so many people have turned against the Catholics. And to me, I mean, I would consider myself a liberal Catholic. I think that I'm not even sure what the word liberal means, to be honest with you. Does it mean we're open? I think. Oh, God. I'm not good with politics and words. Anyway, I'm a Catholic, but I believe in live and let live. As long as you're not hurting anybody, you do it. And at the end of the day, when you die, you're going to see Big Daddy. <laughs> you're going to see Big Daddy. And we all know right and wrong. We know about the Ten Commandments, that they're really suggestions. It's so effing painful. Oh my God. But anyways, I'm getting so Catholic shamed. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. The paragraphs. 
the on and on comments about me flipping the bird in St. Patrick's Cathedral. I'm sorry, Daddy. Oh, I have you right. I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm bad. This this will get me more hatred too. But it's I love God. I love Jesus. I'm a Catholic. I'm a proud Catholic. Bending the rules, perhaps. Well, a lot. But that's between me and Jesus Christ. Not you assholes. Not you. As it is with everyone else in this world. And I find it so funny that Catholics are, in a way, pretending to be God and judging everyone. Jesus is like telling us to forgive everyone. That we have to turn the cheek. Granted, I've had this discussion with God and I'm like... I can't turn the cheek on certain people. There's no way in hell. They're going to have to face you to deal with that. Because shit's been done and I can't forgive. I can't forgive. I know it's supposed to. And I know all those things. But I can't. I cannot forgive a lot of shit. I can't. I can't move past that either. And I know I'm supposed to. But I can't. But anyways. You're, you're telling me how bad a Catholic I am. So you're basically saying again. You're up here. And I'm down here. But remember everything you're telling me and go look in the mirror and tell yourself. Maybe you should listen to yourself. Just saying. But don't worry about me. I'll be there. I'll be there in heaven. I'll be there and I'll poke you in the ass. <laughs> I have to face God. You'll have to face God. And I'm very good with God. Like I keep saying, I just wish Catholics would stop pointing fingers at other people because Jesus is a good person and he tells us how to live life and how we should live life. And it's just a shame that there's asshole Catholics like you pointing fingers at everybody and telling them we're doing it wrong. We're not doing it wrong. We're good. We're good. You're the one who's doing it wrong. You should really just step back and you do you and let me call Jesus Christ Big Daddy if I want to because I love this man and I would die for this man, okay? And I mean that and he knows that too. So, fuck you, not Jesus, you. Hey guys, I have to redo this video. Good Lord, I was going down the wrong way when I wanted to like, <sighs> I hope everybody's having a great oh my god what day is it thursday i hate having a three-day weekend but i love it because we have an extra day off but it throws my whole week off yesterday i actually forgot that um uh, my one wheelchair student her daycare takes them to the park and i actually took her back to her daycare and then she's nonverbal; she can't talk to me but she kept I, I kept wondering why she was she's trying to tell me something and then i realized oh it's wednesday and they have park time so i drove her i actually she's my last students i took her over there and i helped her help the uh aide put her up on the sidewalk there was no ramp to pull her up on but yeah it, it's been a weird week it's like i'm off a day so um but you see uh cindy mom mom made a video about being catholic shame no i think she needs to learn how to be a human being um i don't care what religion you practice i don't care um uh you know what God you believe in. I think we're all here. First of all, we're all here to be humane to each other. We're not here to disrespect each other. But for her to always give the finger, it's really starting to irritate me to death. She went after Just Me Marcy and Perfect Storm. I haven't made a video on her, so of course she's not after me. <laughs> and I could care less. She calls us all hate channels. And we're, are the re we are the reasons why people come after her. Yes, people, you're harder from her. She says, me and everybody else who are hate channels, which I'm not. I just talk the truth. And I'll tell them like it is. And people hate that. That's the hate that you hate are, is people that hate the truth being thrown in their face. So, yeah, she says that we all are the reasons why she's getting it attacked and that she has this big target on her back it's not her actions it's not her mouth it's not her disrespecting other people it's other people like me and perfect storm and just me marcy and everybody else uh, lizzie talks that is causing her life to be a living hell literary people she's blaming us not her she's giving everybody the finger she's cursing everybody out calling them the c word and this and this and that 
And um, as you can see, she's blaming us people. And then there, and then she's the reason why I'm even talking about this is like like I said, you could be in religion, but she's supposed to be this Catholic, and I know Catholic religion is totally different from most because they do have more rules and regulations than most religions are. Okay. Basic, I took, I in my college course, the last course I took before I took this break for my child because he mentally was so hurt and and his heart was so ripped apart from his, his fiance passing away. I took time off for him to help him out and get his life back together. So, but this class was the last class I took in this philosophy of religion. I'm really appreciative of this class. I did take a philosophy class, so that's the one I chose. And it taught me a whole lot about religion. And it, and the base, the basic concept of all religions is that you, you, uh, there is a God. Except for Buddhism, there's no God. Um, but all the other ones have their own gods. They all have the same basic um, concept of how to uh, conduct yourself as a human being. That's basically what religion is. There's rules and there's ways to act towards others. And I know when I was younger, we were taught the golden rule. Do unto others as you want them to do unto you. Remember, I don't know if they teach that anymore. I doubt it. I do teach that to my kids. I don't think anybody else teaches this rule, the golden rule. So obviously this this chick did not learn the golden rule. Because it's okay for her to tell, call people the C word, call them the B word. Throw out the F word like you're saying the word and. She says the F word more times than I even hear the ratchet teenagers up at the high school say it. And she's 50 years old. She's 50 years old acting like she's in her tweens again. Okay? But she's being Catholic shamed. As you can see, I added those comments of, one, of a couple of viewers. And she don't care that they're leaving her channel. The other day, she lost 100 subscribers because of her filthy mouth. And, you know, these are 100, 100 subscribers can make a break you. I think, and this is my opinion, I don't know, I don't get paid. I actually do this because I love meeting other people. This is a hobby, and I love my new hobby because I got to have something to do because my kids are gone. They have their own lives now, so this is my new life. And I really love doing it because I do meet a lot of beautiful people. You guys don't understand. I cry with some of your comments. You guys are so supportive of me and my journey and um, of me sharing my life experiences with you. But this woman has no respect for nobody. Nobody. She is literally will step on her own viewers. She said bye to these people. And she don't and they want her to be the old Cynthia Boma. But now this is the way this is the new Cynthia Boma and this is the way she's gonna be for the rest of her life. She will never have a, a man in her life because no man no man's gonna put up with that filthy mouth. Not even a sailor. No woman wanna be her best friend. Who wants to walk around a woman wearing a crown all the time? And, and, you know, and that crown is supposed to be a trademark for her because a lot of YouTubers have trademarks or have some kind of um, a mascot or whatever, some kind of thing that represents them and their channel. So this crown is supposed to be her being a, a, a queer, real queen. Number one, don't need a crown. We don't need a tin thing on our head showing um, that we're a queen. Real queens don't need a crown. Just remember that, ladies. And I've been telling you guys this. All you ladies on my channel are, are beautiful queens to me, and we all don't need to wear no tinsel thing on our head to prove that we're queens. So, but yeah, I wanted to do this video. I wasn't going to uh, do another react on her, but this this, this, is, this is just too much. She, she constantly brings that finger up, and I know a lot of my um, supporters also say they're tired of seeing that finger. And she will never be a decent human being. And that's the concept of being in any religion. You don't even, even atheists, they know and understand that you need to be a decent human being. I know a lot of atheists and they also know that, that, know that part of being a human being is to try, treat others with respect. This one will never. And the, I cracked up laughing when she sat here and said, we're all competition to her. Woman, no. No, I don't see you as no friend of me. I don't see her as nothing to me because she's so disrespectful to the human race, period, with the way she acts. And I'm sorry to have to say that, people, but I, I do. She is so disrespectful to everybody she encounters, and she always deflects her behavior by saying, oh, everybody, she does a pity party. So that's what this is, and you know she's never going to change. 
So, and I know, and I, and I want to appreciate every one of you guys that are worried about me mentally because I do talk about her. No, she doesn't bother me mentally because I do meditation and I do know my own self-worth. I know that this woman can't get in my head. She does act like a demon and there are demons. There do are real demons in this world, people. Don't, 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 don't sit here and say they're not. And she acts like one. And a lot of people do believe that she's possessed. No, I think this is her true, um, this is her true real self. And I hate to say that, but she's not possessed. This is her way she really is. And that this is the way she's going to act forever. And then I don't think she's ever going to change. Unless something life-threatening happens to her and it slaps her right in the face. I don't see it. So, all right, guys, I just wanted to show you this and how people are Catholic shaming her. Hmm. But she lost 100 viewers the other day. So... No, everybody's not the same, and everybody doesn't want to hear the F word every two seconds. Nobody wants to be flipped off. It's so disrespectful and it's so childlike, and then that's why these people are leaving our channel, and I don't blame them. So, you guys have a great day. Uh, I don't have my one student, so I usually leave right now, but I can leave in another 10 minutes. So, I'm going to get this hopefully uploaded within the morning because sometimes my uploads take forever. So, you guys have a great day. I love you guys. Let me know what you think. So, you guys have a great day and enjoy it. It's Thursday. I see, I'm about to say Wednesday. <laughs> I'm off a day. Have a great day, guys. I love you. And I hope you have a great start of your morning.